See, I was smiling before. I wasn't smiling at that. Then, but that's when I heard. That's why it was in vehicle of crimes. It's so. Like, well, hold on. Let's. We have Mr. Yes, Mr. Jones, Your Honor. Good morning, Mr. Jones. Good morning. Jail. Uh, Great. Good. That makes me happy to hear that. You know, the worse of a situation that you have in the custody, hopefully the higher likelihood you have of complying or listening. Because if it's too easy for you, eh, eh, it doesn't matter if I go to jail. So you are wanted out of somewhere. Let's tell me about Mr. Jones. Uh, so he's wanted out of Alexandria Parish. We were going to plead. I let him know he was going to go into custody regardless. Um, so I don't know if that's something where you want to explain to him. I told him if you want to set it for trial, he's free to. I thought he might spend more time waiting for the trial than with this deal. But Mr. Froster, <laughs> yes, sir. I had to put you in jail last time because you were violating conditions. It's now come to my attention that you're violating conditions again. Baloney. Tengo el GPS. Tengo el GPS y el y el el escravo y la mujer se escribe el GPS y la máquina en la casa. Oh, I'm sorry, Judge. Um, y estoy haciendo las cosas bien. Two five zero seven. Two five is one of them. That's all. So qué era eso para hacer eso? Twenty five or three three two five? Twenty five or three. 25, and then 26 is the other one. Yeah. 2503. 7. 25325. Let me read this to you. The defendant signed pretrial supervision and bond conditions ordering defendant to refrain from alcohol consumption, to obtain and be monitored by a portable alcohol breath testing, and to comply with required monitoring, testing, service recalibration protocols. Defendant was instructed, number one, do not obstruct the camera on the device. Number two, do not skip any testing windows. Three, blow into the portable breath testing device three times a day in accordance with the blow schedule to ensure compliance with ordered conditions. From 7.20 to 8.19, the defendant has skipped alcohol testing 16 times. Defendant was ordered to obtain a scram device and refrain from alcohol consumption. The defendant scram reported one tamper event on 8-25-24 at 10-32 p.m. So that's what I have, <sighs> that you were tampering with the device. So I told you that there was absolutely strict compliance. And if there were any issues, only one thing was going to happen. And that you were going to go to jail. Yeah, like I said. <clears throat> you know what is supposed to happen with that device. You know, and I told you the last time we were here, that if there were any issues whatsoever, what the outcome would entail. So, I don't know. Okay. Did you want to work out the case today with your lawyer? Yes. And so, Judge, I've reviewed the, the plea with him. That would be what you have uh, told us that you would Did you want to plead guilty to this offense? If you pled guilty to the DWI, then I think that they were going to dismiss your other case against you, the false driver license case as well. I don't know. Is this something that you wanted to do today? 
Two. Yes. Okay. Judge, I reviewed it with him, um, and I believe it's already in the system. So, so, um, well, let me do this, and then we can have him sign it, and then they can take him. Understand that this now will end up as a conviction on your record, Mr. Frausto. What you need to really, really take to heart is that you now have many contacts with regard to DWIs and licenses on your record. If you ever get pulled over, had the slightest smell of alcohol, the slightest smell of dope, if you are acting oddly in any way, shape, or form, they're going to arrest you and charge you with a third offense. And from now on, you'll be facing a third degree felony You'll be looking at a minimum of two years in prison, a maximum of 10 years in prison. Do you understand? Do you understand now? Yes. Even if you've had a sip of alcohol, I would never, ever get into a car. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You're now pleading guilty to this DWI and it's 45 days in jail with credit for the seven days that you've done. You will be out in no time, but these charges will be on your record for the rest of your life. So I would be very, very careful. You give up a lot of rights by entering into this agreement. You give up the right to a trial, right to compel witnesses to test on any behalf, confront and cross-examine your accusers. If you're not a citizen, there are possible immigration consequences. You can be deported, excluded from the country, denied naturalization under federal law, you give up the right to appeal. So once you plead guilty, you can never change this or undo this. Do you understand? How do you plead to the DWI, guilty or not guilty? I will find you guilty. I will send you to 45 days in jail. It's seven, right? Yes. I will give you credit for the seven days that you've done. I am going to suspend your license for two years. Do not drive until you get a license. Good luck to you, sir. Okay, thank you. You're going to take him in today? Yes, go in today. Okay. So click on this guy. It's an out of county. They want to pick up on nine five. No. What is what what kind of case is it? Um I didn't